du ça, fais pas du ça, viens me chercher, viens me chercher, fais ton idée. have influenced one another musically ever since the Cajuns arrived in Louisiana in the middle of the 18th century and has continued on down through the generations. We're a Cajun band. We've played Cajun music for 18 years, but it's hard not to be influenced by Creole music, which is such a close relative to Cajun music. It's a bit funkier, more syncopated. Creole French is a little different, but it's great stuff and we love it. We've been playing it more in the past few years put together a medley of three songs that we learned from the Ardouin family, Boisek and Amade Ardouin. It's called the Ardouin Medley. Throughout the history and development of Cajun music, uh, as far as we can reach back, there have always been uh, some people who have moved the genre forward. And Steve Riley and the Mambo Playboys are in that category. Uh, they don't only play great stuff they're actually inventing great stuff. And the beautiful part of it is that they're inventing from the inside of the tradition. This is just a feeling, I think, that we look for. For me, what it means to me is when I still feel like I'm a part of something that's bigger than me. When I feel like the people I learned this music from might like what I'm, still might like what I'm doing a little bit, you know? I guess that's, you know, you talk about people looking to us, but. If I still feel like I'm looking to somebody for inspiration, for guidance, whether they're alive or not, at least they left me the music to go by. found the lyrics, they found his poems in a book that was written by Sam Broussard's great uncle. And the poems were beautiful, the Creole poems written by a slave, I mean, just how you don't run into that too often. So uh, we started thinking about writing songs to those. We did 
about three songs, and there's this one song, Mari Muri, I kept thinking about it. It was so beautiful and it was so incredibly sad about you know, how you feel when someone dies. That's one of the great things about being in a band like this. God, I get to do stuff like that. I get to find a poem like that. I get to write a song to it. It's, it's a blast. And it means so much to me to be collaborating with somebody from another century. Somebody really almost completely unknown and to put his lyrics out before the people so they can hear him. One of the interesting things uh, <clears throat> to follow in, in the development of the Mama Playboys was the recordings. Like the first one was real homemade, uh, uh, absolutely from the heart, pure. And then along the way, uh, the, the, the stakes got escalated every time. And uh, <clears throat> this last round with Bon Rêve, uh, everybody, as soon as they heard it, everybody knew it. It was, uh-oh. Uh -oh. There's a whole new game in town. Everybody's gonna have to measure up to this thing. <laughs> 